Hello everyone, Bobby here for Xbox Game Reviews and today we're going to take a look at Drift Zone. It's due for release on the 26th of January 2018. I don't have any prices at the moment but once I get them I'll stick them down in the description below. Uh, what we're going to do is jump straight into a circuit drift. Uh, obviously you can see there's different types here but we're going to jump straight into circuit drift, uh, play the first mission and then I'll show you around the menu and the different cars and things like that. Right, so literally chucks you in with a three second countdown and you just gotta start drifting. It's best to follow the line, you have your score on the top centre there, you can see it going yellow as I'm drifting, it goes blue when it's standard, I think yellow is higher, then it can go green I believe, or orange, something like that. It's not often that I do a drift that's that good. If you look on the bottom right where you've got me speedometer, you can see a timer and that little blue bar that goes around the outside. What you have to do is hit the checkpoints, but as you can see the two separate scores, it's got 430 well, this one has 135 and then minus something or other. You have to get that in green basically to match the score and you get more time. So, as you can see, I'm up to 18 seconds. Now, I'm following the line and I'm hitting as many cones as possible. Um, but all I'm doing is just building that score up that you can see uh, at the top center there, which is now 3,500. The structure is set out different per track. This one is, I think it's 1,500 for one star. Uh, 2000 or 2500 for two stars and 3000 for three stars something along the lines of that once you complete the uh, the track and get the, the, the full three stars you get like a bonus uh, achievement setup kind of thing not achievement like a bonus structure to make more money this one gives you what is it again I think if you drift for 90% of the course you get like two and a half grand yeah, it shows it on the side. So two and a half grand for the drift duration being over ninety percent. I've got that one. Two grand for your average speed being over thirty-one miles an hour. I've got that one. And then seven thousand uh, dollars for a legendary score of thirty thousand, which I haven't even came close to. Now you can see on the right-hand side at the lower part of the screen, it has the score. My best score overall is ten thousand eight hundred and two. I just achieved five thousand six hundred and thirty-five there. But like I was saying, it's 1500, sorry, 500 for one star, um, 1500 for two stars, and 2500 for three. So there's a little bit of a way off there for saying 3000. I'm going to jump straight back into this one. I'll just bank that money by pressing A. Um, we're going to go straight back into it and play it again. And this time I'll try and focus more on me drifting rather than telling you more about the game. So, basic controls, right trigger to accelerate, uh, left stick I'm chucking the car around, keeping me angle with it and using the power. You can feather the throttle as well if you want to. Um, it was really difficult to find uh, any drift tunes online. We did manage to find one on a, I think it was a steam forum we did for this E30. Myself and uh, Mr. Agrius Rage both put it on the car. I've got this one upgraded to, you have different levels of upgrade like um, I think there's like a performance upgrade and a tuned upgrade or something like that. Mine's the extreme one, which is the max one you can get. Uh, to get that, all I've done is played as many of the missions as possible, getting one to three stars and getting as much money from that as I possibly could. And then once I completed this mission, which is the very first circuit track, um, going for the bonuses, obviously, and I just grinded it out until I got some more money together so I could buy stuff. I am on my way of buying on my way to buying what looks like a Ferrari but from the looks of it they don't have the licenses in this game so they call them something different um, but yeah I'm just grinding out at the minute this seemed pretty enjoyable um, the graphics aren't the best in the world but considering this was brought out originally as a I believe it was a mobile phone game to now being moved to console it's not doing that bad. I mean, you can see in the rear window there when I when I chuck the car around, you can see all the reflections of the clouds, which are pretty good. Um, I quite like it. I really do. It is hard to get into if you don't know much about drifting. What do we get there? Seven and a half thousand. I'll take that and we'll move on to the next section. So yeah, gonna bank that. Anyways, let's have a look around the menus, like I was saying. So you've got your garage. We'll have a look at the garage first. So this is my car. It's a Bunia, Bunia, Bunia 30 Extreme. Um, to those of you who know cars, this is a BMW E30. Um, you can put different tuning set setups on it. As you can see on the top there, you've got different presets of the car. So I've got a different tune running on this orange 
E30 um, one that doesn't work very well and then I've got my new E36 which I haven't tuned yet I also changed the wheels on it let's see what we can do with the custom body on this so you've got your body kit you can change it that looks more like the the M3 variant of the car and then that one's crazy maybe rally variant of it I'm, I'm not 100% sure I like to keep it standard you can change your hood you've got vented hood so on and so forth rims they've got different ones and these are the standard ones that you get and I've never really changed them on this car but you can see all the different ones here just quickly scroll through them so you can have a look uh, wing mirrors you can have the M3 style ones or the standard you can have one of them and I'm not going to attempt to pronounce that but yeah you can have one of them on the back change your front bumper if you want so you can have that's crazy you can have no front bumper, just metal poles, or you can have that bad boy racer one. Uh, rear bumper, I'm assuming, is going to be exactly the same. Yep, you can have that one, or that one. That one actually looks really nice. Uh, spoiler, standard spoiler. I believe that's a standard one off the, the M3, or one of the M-Tech series of the cars. Big massive wing. I thought they had like a bigger duck tail because that's kind of what that one looks like but they don't so yeah that's the different custom bodies paints you can paint the body the cage the rims flange what what's the flanges oh the outside of the wheels you can paint your calipers even so that's pretty good uh, wing mirrors can be painted a different color and then you've got your details which is basically like your side skirts and bumper strips things like that there's details too which is the side skirts and the front splitter uh, you can paint the kidneys on the BMWs which is a pretty nice little feature and you can paint your spoiler if you want to so yeah that's that suspension you can add camber to the car so if you like camber you can go full blown <laughs> I was trying to think of something cool and funny to say there but I, I can't think of anything so you can go full blown camber if you want uh, you can even give it massive huge wheels if you want to and chunky tyres or you can take it down to literally nothing so it's sitting on rim basically um, tire width is yeah you can change that but it doesn't really make much of a difference <laughs> the way that I've got that wheel set up is a uh, offset you can push it out so it sits on the outside of the car and height you can raise it up if you want so you could literally try and drift this beast if you want to do now I've just realized that I've changed these and I think it's gonna try and save it if I press back yes it is so go in and you press X to reset mines all basically standard I've kept it like that so yeah go with that what else we've got tuning right when I was talking about this tune setup that we found there is the gear ratios in front of you if you want to pause the video and make a note of those for when it's time to drift uh, if you're playing the game also the diff and the steering angle on the right hand side there I did have my steering angle at 90 but I turned it down because it was a bit too much some of the other tracks in the game you're gonna want to turn it back up to 90 because they're really really sharp turns Um as you can see on the left chat it's got the Bunia 30 Extreme you can change it to the performance upgrade the modified or the tuned um, you start off with stock obviously and I've had the same gear ratio tune on throughout all of it started off stock I went to tuned I saved up I just grinded the game and saved up as much money as I possibly could until I could buy the Extreme um, it does make a massive difference on this car I'm not 100% what it's going to be like on others as I haven't really touched any of them I bought the E36 and haven't used it yet um, what we're going to do is have a look at the car list. So you've got the A30, which is known as the Bunia 30. You've got the Bunia 35, which is, as we all know, in BMW E36. I'm looking forward to playing around with this one, but at the minute, I'm going for something else. You've got the JDM1 that's sitting on stock. Um, JDM2, looks like a Sylvia. Uh, Huni, uh, PW71, as everyone will know, that's an R34. And you've got one of the newer BMWs. GTR, Rosso 45, and the Rosso 40. Now that is the end of it, and I'm saving up to buy that at 195,000. Um, you can see how much money I've got in the top right. I've got 103,000, so I've got quite a little bit of a way to go. But Mr. Agrius Rage got this car and said it does make a difference, especially when you put a tune on it. Um, but obviously, I assume this was kind of like end game car, so to speak, with it being the most expensive. So hopefully I'll get that and uh, I'll be able to go in to the missions and smash them all. Because as you can see, I've smashed out the first circuit, 
but the second one I've only managed to get two stars on and the third one and I, I'll be honest there are a bit of a struggle in that BMW E30 um, fourth mission I've managed to get one star but it does go on further you've got drift zone one and uh, drift zone one two these you literally follow a line so for instance this one you've seen it's on a track this one is like half track half cones and as are these two major the majority of them are just cones and then it goes on to just an open area where you have to stay as close to the line as possible and uh, as you can see I haven't even checked out these two so we need to see what they're like it does go on and on and on there it is parking area one three that is the very last mission on the circuit drift you do have your sprints as well which are basically one lap and get the highest score you possibly can as you can see i haven't done amazing on these either i've managed to get two stars on the first one and one star on the rest i haven't even i don't even know did i did i get anything on the leaderboard on that Right, once load no but as you can see mr rage got 5207 i'm assuming with it being 736 horsepower that was in that ferrari um so yeah and then it goes on and on and you have them all you get to do one lap we're going to take a look at the first one and you can see a few people there by the way they have leaderboards as well uh, you can do split screen local uh, but what we're going to do we're going to have a play at this one and we're going to try and beat me score of 2327 and let's just have a look what does it say for the score and structure so 1500 and 2000 are the first two sc two stars 2500 so you can see how close i was is the last third star so let's try this one more time and see if i can get it right so remember this is one lap and the timer on the top in a second it'll start counting down yeah it starts taking points off you and you've got to try and keep as many as possible now because i'm recording we we'll all know that i'm going to spin or i'm going to do really bad because that that tends to what happens when you're recording games but let's see if I can get it. Come on! I feel like I'm fighting with this car actually on this uh, this track. I might have to play with the tune a little bit. Now the key is to try and drift. Oh, I've wrecked it! I've wrecked it! Nah. Let's try and drift continuously, and I just haven't done it at all. I think we've only got like what eighteen thousand there. Yeah, eighteen thousand and three. It isn't an easy game to play. It is. It's more of a drift simulator. So if if you're more of an arcade racer. Um, this might not be for you, but it is definitely worth checking out. Um, especially if you if you've got time to sit and fiddle around with the tunes, you can figure something out. I mean, we've been playing with other tunes. That's why you see the different variants of the car I had at the start to see if we can get the best possible one. But yeah, this has been my preview of Drift Zone. I hope you have enjoyed it. It is due out on the 26th of January 2018. If you have liked the video, don't forget to stick a like on it. Don't forget to subscribe. We really do appreciate it. Thank you very much again for watching. We'll see you next time.